All right, so back to this. Hold on a sec. Just got a red bull with me. Again, you know, just carrying on, continuing on. Um, on the second bonus, uh, with the big thing there, you know, being that's like, again, you know, we're just, we started it, saw that we were in a Sayori's POV, which we suspected. And it pretty much picked up immediately where Yuri's left off. Obviously in Sayori's POV, though, like I mentioned. But timeline-wise and where it falls in the timetable, that's pretty much the moment where it, uh, again, you know, picks up, right? With the big thing there and being what I kind of noted is, uh, and again, that was when we got to this scene of, uh, you know, uh, honestly, though, for as much as I hate these, like, goofy themes, like, I really love this one. Like, for as, like, goofy, it is, like, you know I hate, like, goofy-ass, like, you know, themes. and Like, the original, like, not, like, I, those are the types that I hate. But this one, for whatever reason, just hits different. But, you know, what I noticed is, honestly, I might, I might just honestly skip through this whole interaction. I hate to say it. I don't really think there's anything we're getting out of this interaction that we don't already know. With Yuri, it was interesting because we got her perspective, but kind of the one interaction she had in game with the MC, as well as the aftermath. But this one's kind of like we already know what happened and like how Sayori feels, right? Yes, the one thing that I guess I'm somewhat interested about is to see how Yuri went to calm her down because we knew or know that Yuri went to go see Sayori after this, right? Again, with the big thing there being that, yeah, you know, what it came down to was, all right, you know, she uh, was the one to console her while Monica went off somewhere else and Natsuki blew up at her and the MC kind of sat and did nothing. So I'm curious to see that, but I mean, other than this, we know how this plays out and we know how Sayori feels about it or felt about it. So like, I, I don't, I don't want to say, I don't know why we're getting this because I feel like a much better situation or scenario for Sayori's POV like I feel like they could have done Sayori's work kind of like bounced around in the timeline get maybe a flashback you know to how she was maybe the moment uh her past with the MC maybe we get flashbacks to the moment where you know she uh, is about to kill herself and the MC finds her get a flashback you know maybe to her you know get a the scene of uh her and Yuri right and then maybe, you know, if they really want to take it the heartstrings, get the final scene of her in the MC, right? But I, I really uh, question why they're showing us this scene from her perspective, because I genuinely don't think, or genuinely don't think there's anything we can see that we don't already know. Um, and again, I even brought up, what would you call it, Monica's. I feel like this scene from Monica's POV would have been a lot more interesting, because we can kind of see, A, how she, you know, I guess like, kind of what she originally thinks is a good idea, but then kind of realizes the way through is just, you know, kind of a failure and, you know, just how little she understands our people, you know, as well as, you know, whatever went hap went down and happened between her and Natsuki. Like, I felt like this scene would be better for Monica's POV. And again, Yuri, like I mentioned, and Natsuki, you know, I feel like Natsuki, uh, in her, her moments leading up to her death, right, you know, uh, Again, but, you know, obviously we have to get through it. Um, I am curious what, because it's definitely just, like, let's go back to the main menu. For these bonuses, it's just POVs of all the, I'm, I'm curious as to what these alternates are going to look like. But the bonuses are just the POVs of uh, everyone, right? Excluding the MC, of course, because, you know, he's literally the one we play the game through, right? But, hey, Monica, what's going on? She zips past. Oh, yeah, I fucking remember this, because she just bails, and I'm like, it's too late at that point. You know, you just got to commit, right? And I, I still do think in standby, it was a good idea. Like, the plan itself was good. It was just abysmal execution. Like, the I the T set was a really good thing that Yuri got for the club that everyone kind of glossed over. As well as just, you know, I mean, let's be real here, right? Having, like, a basket of snacks just to, like, munch on is, like, never a bad thing. And then, again, the whole card, yeah, it was for Sayori. Again, literally, I said... Monica could just pull her aside and be like, look, you know, we just want to let you know that, you know, we support you and that if you need anything, reach out and then give her the card. Something like that. And then obviously Monica has to kind of go and blow it up, but it is something to where it was a good idea. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, you know, but.
but it's something where obviously, funny enough, this was nearly a club ending event. You know, this interaction we're about to see here, right? But the real club ending event just be is, you know, my dude, it's still crazy how Natsuki literally destroyed the lives of everyone in this room right now, right? It's actually kind of crazy to think about. Like every single person, uh, even Monaco and Susan here, all of their lives were destroyed because of Natsuki. Where is she? It's like freaking who knows, you know, freaking my running theory is wrong. So her theory was that it was like a fake or they're going to get like ambushed. Like, honestly, here's the thing. I'm surprised Sayori wasn't able to guess it or that they're writing it in if she had some sneaking suspicion. Because Sayori's not an idiot, right? She even acknowledged that, okay, this is the first day I'm coming back. The fact that this is happening, you know, means there's something up. And especially since she was worried about how Monica Natsuki and the MC would react compared to like Yuri, who kind of was understanding and was in a similar boat, right? Difference between empathy and sympathy. So I don't get why, I mean, granted, you know, maybe this leads to her, it kind of explains at this point, because if she expected something like this, she could kind of mentally prepare herself and go along with it. Because at the end of the day, like, the MC knew it was more so about Monica just kind of needing a win after, like, everything happened. And I even Yuri knew that. Natsuki obviously just doesn't care, right? Um, but I'm, I'm surprised, you know, Sayori's kind of, you know, some sort of surprise. I'm, or more so, I, I'm surprised that she's surprised, right? You know, they have been pushed together. It's crazy. Damn, freaking, you know, it's crazy. Hey, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. His the MC's haircut is kind of crazy though, dude. The, I'm not gonna get over the freaking mullet, uh, you know, MC. Uh, hit ho. Uh, but you know, it, like honestly, like, cause let let's all right. I'm gonna look up uh DDLC MC, cause you know we can go for like all right. Let's do this. Let's all right. Let's go. Uh, fucking you know. So again, right? Because obviously you have so this honestly, I like this MC. Like I like the design of like this MC. You know, like this is the one that you know I feel like is best. Um, so you got him right. Uh, now obvious. Okay, this is kind of a crazy pick, but you have the uh. This is like the base. Well, this isn't even the base game. This was like you know the Wallace MC, right? Wallace. Oh, if you remember that dude. Then you have the fucking, like, Chad MC Sprite, which is just, like, okay, there's some weird fucking, uh, dude, freaking, uh, dude, do you foresee what, <laughs> dude, uh, but yeah, fr dude, crazy, uh, dude, I, I need, it, like, there are some crazy DLC mods stuff out there, bro, like, but again, you know, it's something to where you get this, like, and then you get some kind of custom, and, like, dude, yeah, look, holy shit, dude, look how many people we got here, bro, uh, we, we don't fucking have the normal assets. You even got Femsy there, right? But, you know, like, this is the first time we've kind of seen, I guess, that, like, I mean, they clearly created for this mod. I do like how they made their his eyes, like, the color of his hair, you know. An overall change of space, but I do find his hairstyle kind of funny. Because he does genuinely, like, my brother looks like this. You know, he's got the face when she's really annoyed. Dude, this is, and I, I talk about this. Like, she was not a fucking idiot. She knows Natsuki's, like, pissed off. But, like, Natsuki, like, I swear to God, is the easiest person to piss off. Like, you could walk the wrong way and she'd get pissed off. Like, you know, so this is how Sayori can fucking tell this face. Because, you know, she's always just, this is, like, literally her default face. But, again, you know, something to where it's, like, granted, Natsuki blows the fuck up in Monica. We know this, right? And we just, I guess, accept that it was the right or good thing, even though it literally did nothing. It's like when she debates poetry, which is stupid as shit, by the way. Again, you know, that, like, actually, like, stupid argument. Taking a seat to her. She said something about going to get some snacks. Hey, like, facts. Like, honestly, I'm surprised they don't have, like, a bat. They have a whole ass tea set. Keep, keep a basket st uh, stocked, you know. Like, if anything, I'm surprised they didn't have the suit. More snacks. Eat your heart out, you're I'm going, dude. She's actually gonna like fucking have a heart attack, you know. But again, you know, and we know because the the one thing that mattered was the MC. If you remember, the MC met Maka at the store and he said, Oh, get her uh white chocolate, right? You know, so that's the one the grand, obviously, it's a ton of our shit, which I guess Maka must be like rich or something, you know, if she has the money for it. 
yeah, not gonna lie, candy is crazy as shit, but if you get like chips and stuff like that, right, that'd be more reasonable. Even, you know, like I'm not assuming Yuri is like super like on diet, but you can get like, you know, healthier alternatives, right? So like literally, uh, but getting like whole ass candy is like crazy. She won't be gone for too long. Who know who the fuck knows where a locker is? Like, God, yeah, I remember in high school, because in high school we had lockers, right? Um, freshman, sophomore year did not use it once, right? Um, the only time I ever use, cause you just have like admit that's more so something you use in like, cause grade school, you have like cubbies, right? Middle school. I use my locker. Cause you know, what you do is like, you just kept all your shit in your locker and only took shit out for classes. High school. You just kept everything in your book bag. Right. The only th time I ever used my locker was a uh, junior and senior year when I had eighth period free for athletics, I'd store like my duffel bag or whatever in my locker and then literally just pull it out for, you know, practice almost instantly as if she was someone, dude. And we can see the strength, dude. I, I do though. The Sprite I love most is the freaking stressed uh, out Sprite for everyone, dude. Just those two like bags of their eyes, dude, make them like so much more stressed. It's actually hilarious. Mm. Easily my favorite Sprite. All right. That nearly did not make it in the trash. Wizard of the Arcane Junk. What are you fucking talking about? Chocolate, dude. I'm not going to lie. That is excessive as shit, though. Like, and it, dude, that shit's expensive as fuck. Like, not even going to lie. Peanut butter? She smashed over? Yeah, dude. That's why I'm like, bro, dude. She literally just robbed. Hey, this isn't fucking Blue Skies. We're not going to just robbing a store of protein bars. We're not going to let that slide, by the way. The MC really, like, sold himself into indentured servitude over Natsuki. But, again, you know, he really did. Which is crazy, but well, there goes a wasted dollar. Freaking, she's like, yeah. If I would have known, see, you were in line when he said snacks. You know, yeah, dude. Freaking, I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm not. I don't want to say I'm not a big snacker, but I'm not a big sweets person. And I think that's just cause you know, palate. But more like, um, like for me, it's cause I know it's gonna make me like, cause of all the sugar, it's gonna make me like. Granted, you know, I say that someone just smashed a Red Bull. To be fair, zero calories. Or zero sugar, fuck, man. All right, won't be a proper welcome back. And again, you know, this is probably what's got to set say. But to be fair, like, I think this is a great idea. Just done way too grandiose of a fashion. Like, a small basket of snacks that he set, you know, taking a moment to kind of unwind, relax. And then, like, it would have been perfect. But, again, and we know, like, that's why I, I really wish we would have gotten this scene from Monica's POV. Because it would be very interesting to kind of see what she thinks. Right. You know, Sayori, we kind of know what she's got to think. She's like, oh, this is why is she fucking doing this for me? But Monica would be kind of interesting, you know. Again, you know, that's why Lily said Sayori's going to like re see that and be like, oh, she's going to hear that and be like, uh oh, even the M2, the MC is concerned. Right. Oh, oh. But that's why it's like, I, I don't understand. Like, again, Sayori's not an idiot. She should have had at least kind of like some sneaking suspicion about what was going on. Right. I mean, and, and again, what it comes down to is, like, suicide is serious. Suicide attempts are serious. No matter how you try to, like, like play it down, like, you know, you can't, really, right? Like, if I had a buddy attempt to commit suicide, and, like, a week later they told me they're fine, I'm like, uh, no, you ain't. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you know, I don't believe you. Like, you know, I hate to say it, but that's – it's something that's serious because, you know – we only live one life, right? You know, I happen to be born in the year 2000 and I'm playing this game. If I off myself, I'm not getting our shot at all. So, the, again, you know, when you at least make the decision, even if it doesn't end up working out following through, you know, it's like you, you're more likely to end your own life than anyone else who hasn't tried it all, right? Let's put it that way. Oh, no. Dude, again, there's no way she didn't at least have some seeing suspicion, though. Oh, please, no. Dude, like... But, it, again, she sh really shouldn't be that surprised. Like, I hate to say it. Basically drops the snack cord before taking a seat. Dude, yeah. Also, there's no way it's the, actually that big. But I, I do – dude, imagine she actually did just break it. That would have been hilarious. The allure of all is stripped. And, again, because, you know, it's like, all right, you know, bitter taste of deceit. What the fuck does deceit mean? Am I an idiot? Action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. To be fair, you know, that's not 
I mean, because it wasn't like Monica wasn't blatantly staying our attention. She's like, it's literally a welcome back party. But I guess, you know, the deceit would be her guard and she's just worried about Sayori. But it's like, that's more just common sense, right? You know, you just spilled the goods. You know, I, I, they're all wrapped up, like, you know, said our vice president back, which also, again, because this is what, it's the second week. The timeline gets a bit hazy and fuzzy, but it's the second week. Because the first week, Siwa has a suicide attempt, doesn't come back, you know, because it's the that's what happens the day of the festival, right? Um, then the second week, again, it's the first day, and then it's uh, back. Because, again, remember, MC and Monica saw each other over the weekend. So, yeah, we're putting the timeline together. Please, God, don't. But, again, you know, she really shouldn't be that surprised. Not today. They want this to be a special occasion. Because – well, A, Sayori, see, I was about to say Sayori's not in her meds, but we know she is, right? But also, like, to be fair, if not today, any other day, right? Uh, but, it, you know, again, I really don't understand why Sayori, like, is surprised here. I was doing so well. And again, also, honor with a U, again, definitely a British. But, and again, this really raises the question. You know, do the mod makers genuinely view again? It always comes down to this. What is the perspective of the mod makers? Because what Monica's doing isn't bad. It's just very much, you know, naive, idealistic, and misguided, right? But again, you know, she has good intentions, and the actual idea and plan itself is good. But, you know, the mod has, or at least, you know, with what we saw, it's more so just been trying to act as if, oh, yeah, there was this big thing that fucked everything up, and it's all Monica's fault. You know, uh, she deserves to have the club, like, stripped from her and just, you know, have a shitty life. Like, again, you know, with the the big thing there being, I mean, obviously, it's a Natsuki-centric mod. And, but more so, my issue is more so it trying to act as if Natsuki blowing up at Monica was the right move when it literally did nothing. But, again, you know, we're seeing now the POV of Siori, right? Again, you know, it being something to wear. I mean, obviously, we knew what she was thinking was what she was going to think, right? You know, and again, the, the tea set, like, I'm actually curious about her reaction to the tea set. You know, solely my, actually, you know, we know the tea set, right? I Here's the thing. I, I want to see her reaction to the tea set because I genuinely believe the tea set was actually a really good ass idea. Like, you know, and obviously, Yuri knows, right? But like, genuinely, that's, I'm, I'm still not going to lie, you know? And also, to be fair, you know, they, right? Really, it was only Maka's idea, right? The only other person who knew was the MC. You know, uh, and it actually, geez, geez, I was going to say MC and Yuri. The only person who didn't know was Natsuki. Um, at least not until, you know, the MC brought up. Like, because he did bring it up with her. But also, like, with the way Monica put it, again, you know, or phrased it. So, technically, actually, shit, yeah, technically they all knew. Um, geez, why? Oh. Yeah, this is a good-ass gift. This is a good, like, I am 100%. Like, this is literally, like, a good thing. Like, this is, you know, that's it. Yeah, literally. That's, dude, that's why I was like, I was curious about Sayori's reaction. Like, I genuinely think this was a really good, like, thing. and we know who it's from, right? Yuri. It's pretty cute, too. Damn, I wonder who it's from. All our names. Yeah, dude. Did she, the handwriting's perfect. Uh, I, <laughs> Debatable. But also, to be, fa to be fair, it is in cursive. Which, it, it's crazy because I, I, you know how much I hate back in my day types, right? Like, I literally hate, and especially if they're like millennials or Gen Z who are like, oh, I remember, man, shut the fuck up. But I will say in, I had like a, a couple or a few years of cursive in grade school, and then it moved on to typing. Because, you know, at the crossroads between the old and then the new, Right. You know, I don't know how to write cursive. I only know how to write my signature, but a lot of their time. But and again, you know, we know it's from Yuri, right? And you know, now she knows. Good, great, fancy. Get things straight. Elegant. That's actually a really good fucking word to use. Like, not even gonna lie, that's better than a yeah, nailed it. Literally, actually, you know. Thanks, Yuri. And hey, the cups are big. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I still look small as fuck. So it's taking a lot of prep. Let's see. Oh, it's nothing. I wonder how much she paid for. Oh yeah, dude, freaking you're dude. Everyone in this must be rich. Free, okay, except dude, Natsuki and the MC are broke as shit. Not even a lot, dude. These two, the two in the middle, literally like Natsuki and the MCs combined like wealth is 
probably less than fucking what I have in my wallet. Like, how much money do I have in my... I have a freaking uh, knockoff. To be fair, I can't say that because I have a knockoff Rage wallet. All right, I have a 50 and a 20. So I got 70. Literally, okay, never mind. The, they combined have more than me. Also, to be fair, most people use just card nowadays, right? Like, I, this is like, I haven't used this cash in like months. So, but yeah, freaking. Also, I can't really speak because I have a literal like knockoff Rage wallet. But besides the point, um, yeah, dude. But yeah, but guess Yuri and Monka are ripped, dude. Why, hey, why, dude? Why is Yuri Sprite like that? Anyway, besides the point, I was gonna say Yuri and Monka are just rich as fuck. Like, you know, yeah. Why, why is Yuri Sprite like that? You know, I couldn't have done it without Monka. So it was all, but it was a good ass gift. Not even gonna lie, you know. So so orchestrated, you know. But I mean, again, that's why I'm so. I, it would have made so much more sense if we would have gotten Monica's POV for this uh, scene, which I don't think we're going to get. Granted, I am curious to see what her POV is going to look like. Probably more than – I don't care about Natsuki's. More than even potentially yours. Why do I just know something else is coming? Because what else comes, right? It's the card, right? Which, again, should have definitely been a private thing. Something worse. Far worse. New premonition. Freaking uh, – would anyone care for some tea? Because remember, because I, I vaguely remember what the MC was thinking about during this, right? Because this whole scene, or, you know, this uh, comment by Yuri was a distraction and trying to, you know, like, uh... also, it's weird seeing the normal Monica Sprite. That'd be lovely. It might as well. Dude, she also, she looks, holy shit, she, holy shit, she looks so stressed. They know names. I mean, but it, it's good, right? That's all it really matters. Ditto. I fucking, I mentioned, I hate people who say this shit. Like, you know, yes, thank you. Not knowing the reception. You're with the new teapot way. Yeah, might as well. Don't you need to wash that shit first? All right. Back into the bag. Bitch, how big is this bag? Freaking, uh, you know, is Portal to Narnia? What the fuck? What's next? Is it like a whole ass book bag? Let's see. She waves a card in my direction. Uh, like a, a freaking like a uh, card from like a deck of cards? Ooh, pick a card. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please, we we don't well we know what it says, but she doesn't. Of course, it's for me. You know, I'm not even gonna, like obviously this is sarcastic, but again, and then we can kind of see the MC's reaction. I do think though, again, you know, the the gifts were fine. Again, it was just abysmal. Again, you know, really, this is like the epitome of you have a good idea, but you know, you play it out horribly. Because if Played out right, all of these would have been good things in a great, you know, actual like return to the club style event. Like have the basket of, you know, snacks prepped beforehand, have that tea set, right? And then, you know, the the card, I'm not even gonna lie, the card in public is kind of crazy. That's the most egregious offense of all this. The fact that Monica gave her that card like in front of everyone, like that would have been a pull aside type deal. But Again, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, we know that, you know, that's one of Monica's inherent character flaws that, again, you know, because, because you focus so much on yourself to maintain that, I guess, you know, standard or perspective or like image that, you know, uh, is like, I guess, kind of set for you, you know, you don't really get to know our people, right? And this is where, you know, the weak points are, right? To, and again, because we don't want to damage it on, so... Because we need to read it, right? You know, bro, dude, a biz, what is this fucking, all right. You know, we know things, but we just want that we're all here. Regards, Monica, like, I, lo I love the hand run, bro. Monica, Norma, like, Yuri has, like, elegant, bro, dude, the MC types in freaking bold. Dude, he's one of those motherfuckers who, like, they grip the pencil with their entire fucking fist and just, like, press it down. And then Natsuki just, like, you know, the opposite, where it's, like, you're barely making marks on the paper. And this would be, like, this is a pull aside, give her this. You know, this would be perfect. But, you know, it's the fact that it's in front of everyone, you know. And I'm curious to see, because I don't exactly remember when she bails. You know, she bails at some point. Yuri goes to console her. Monica not, goes somewhere else. Natsuki blows up. The MC just sits there. We think you're too stupid to know that we give a crap about you. Sincerely, your best friends. But also, it's like, Again, at the end of the – because there's that inherent recognition, and I talk about this, you know, 
if you again you can't blame other people for their reaction like it, i talked about earlier in this video you know you can't downplay a suicide attempt because that's something that normal like you know i don't know how else to put it like the fact that you like attempted like puts you in a very small percentile of the population and people are going to be worried about you regardless because if you do it once you know what's the chance to do it again right it's same it's the same concept with like drugs and relapsing right you know or if you're like genuinely addicted to something like that possibility and potential is always there people are going to be worried because if it happened once right again it's that you know more likely to happen again but it's also like and again you know because the what's better here obviously is if it were in better taste but like at the end of the day, it's something where, like, you know, if they would have done nothing, right, you know, uh, like, straight up did nothing, like, literally, like, oh, welcome back, you know, uh, we got poem sharing, like, yeah, like, you know, versus, like, if it were a smaller thing, right, you know, if they're doing this because they care about it, right, you know, again, because it's, how else are they supposed to do that, you know, like, I hate to say, you know, this is something where it's, like, And one thing I talk about is kind of, I talk, and this is something to where like, because in the last video, I mentioned the difference in sympathy and empathy and how you can't blame people who aren't reacting like optimally or like how you want. Because at the end of the day, not everyone's been through, you know, what you've been. Through. Some people have like a weird superiority complex regarding them having been through more and had more hardship. In like, you know, had more, I guess, like tr of a troubled past growing up and they wear like a badge of honor and have some weird like superiority complex, like compared to like people who haven't and like didn't worry about any of that. Like, again, it, it's a weird thing. And it, it's I don't want to say it's glorifying mental illness, but people genuinely do like somehow think like, oh, I have like, I, oh, my God, fucking discord. I actually like this person. I. So I have a Discord account, right? And I was in a certain uh, Discord server. I'm not even going to say which one, uh, nor even what it was about, like the subject or genre. There was this person, I swear to God, who, you know, they like pretty much any sort of dude. It was actually bad because they would constantly make everything about themselves, talk about how much shit they were going through. And anyone who, like, called him out for it, they would literally just, like, harass them. And, again, you know, bas it, basically they had, like, a victim, like, an actual, like, victim, you know, complex or, like, mentality. Like, and it was something to where, like, you know, they, because, like, they were going through it, you know, kind of, like, nobody else, like, really, like, mattered in it, in a sense, right? Now, I'm not saying this is what Sayori's doing, but it's kind of edging close to that, you know mentality right because what because what Sayori isn't seeing is an attempt what she's seeing is oh you know uh, uh again that's something where it's like oh yeah you know they uh, look down on me or whatever you know they uh again view me in this way but it's also like you know again she should have somewhat of a clue right granted and this is why we said she needed to have this conversation regarding oh don't treat me different right because she never had that conversation she told everyone how what she did and what happened but she never actually said like oh like you know despite everything that happened like i'm still good because it's something where you can't blame others you know for again you know not having gone through what you've gone through and knowing how best to again approach you as a result like that's something you need to bring up like i wouldn't know because i haven't fucking gone uh, tried or attempted to commit suicide like how would i know how someone who attempted suicide feels i don't i'm gonna you know treat them as i feel best and until they tell me otherwise you know like you they, they can't really blame me it's the same concept here don't scream just try hard to act thankful Maybe a little hard. It's like, oh, thanks. Oh. Just want to know we care. We're, and also, it's weird that it's like, because the game established, like, Sayori and Monica is kind of like, I don't want to say it, because obviously the MCU is her best friend. I mean, childhood friends, close friends there. But, like, all of a sudden, like, Sayori and Monica have this giant, like, falling out, like, due to this event, when it's something where it's like, you know, if they 
were that close, like, A, Monica would be, like, more understanding, and it wouldn't be this over the top. But then, B, that'd also be a separate conversation that they would have, you know? Because, like, a comment like this tells me, okay, they're not friends at all. You know, she just spikes her. So, and that's one of my main, like, uh, one thing I really say, like, pretty much, let's put it this way. But I really enjoyed the mod up until this point, and that's when it went downhill. Because that's when it went into the whole MC Natsuki thing, the whole club disbanding. Again, what this line straight up tells me is she hates Monica, right? You know, and, you know, she spites her, and they're not friends. But that's not what the mod had previously established, right? So, again, it's just weird there, you know. And, again, this is a conversation, and she's bringing it up. But this is a conversation that needed to happen beforehand, like at the same time as that, you know. Let's see, fake excitement so she doesn't get upset. Which again, you know, the because the MC kind of knows what Monk has been going through, right? But really, no, because Sayori's been absent. Natsuki just doesn't care, you know. Yuri probably, but she's not going to do anything anyway, you know. Good, really relieved to hear that. Hold that thought. She waves her arm in the general direction of the snacks. Freaking bitch, we going cardinal directions here? Like, so quickly. But take your pick. We're celebrating your return. Let's see, why don't you stop? I know exactly why. I haven't dared speak my mind to her, but still. Separate from my bro, dude's freaking uh, disassociating. Uh, but again, you know, well, I know exactly why. And, you know, because the whole thing being. Again, what Sayori is referring to when she knows exactly why is that basically, you know, she's not referring to, oh, you know, Monica doesn't know, right? In, in this, because now Sayori's taking it personal and she's emotionally charged in this moment. You know, she thinks Monica's just an idiot, right? You know, in that either that or she just spites her, right? And that's what this is referring to. You know, she won't stop because it's about her, right? You know, again, which because the MC kind of picked up on it. But he knows it's more so about Monica's just been through shit, right? Like, let's be real here. Which is also something Natsuki doesn't care about. But Sayori also either doesn't really know or hasn't kind of, like, realized it yet. Like, Natsuki just doesn't care, right? But, you know, this in hand picks. Bro, she just, like, fucking, just, like, one fist in it, just white chocolate. Yeah, that's why it's like, dude, because she, she immediately knew. She's like, wait a second. You know, the only person who knows this is him. And he's like, he's scratching the back of his head. You know, the, again, you know, and then even Monica says that, right? So, white chocolate, my favorite. See, I can't get the appropriate story. So, I'm just showing what the hell are you. But, again, and this is my, because I'm not blaming Sayori in this instance. But it's also kind of weird how they portray her here. Again, it, it's, it questions the perspective of the mom makers, right? You know, and one thing I said is, just because you're going through shit doesn't give you a right to be an asshole, right? Say that is something that is a line that Natsuki fucking long jumps like across. Like Natsuki fucking says, fuck everyone else. I'm dealing with my own shit. Fuck everyone else. No one else matters. Like I'm gonna just throw myself across that. Say so you always toe in the line here, right? You know, again, because it's something to where. Again, she doesn't know the MC had some way of an idea that, again, Monica's kind of going through her own shit, right? So, and also, Sayori, like, because it's not, again, I guess her assumption would be, oh, the MC was in on it, right? But we know it was just a conversation they had in the grocery store, right? So it's like, again, you know, the thing there is it's like, all right, you know, we don't really see, like, I mean, she doesn't know, right? But it's also like her immediate assumption is like, all right, you know, why didn't he stop her? You know, uh, now all eyes are on me. Let's take a bite. Imagine it's like taste is sour by the circumstance. I'm not even going to lie. White chocolate is kind of mid, though. Um, still white chocolate. Give an attempt at a smile. It's broken. By your Robert Stephen Fox. Dude, she's just cut. I also said, like, where the fuck did they eat this? Uh, like, it's a turkey. I dude, I, I talked about, dude, it was going to, like, 100% like spill on someone. Like, you know, dude, I was like, dude, third degree burns. Freaking uh, pulls out a box. Wait, what? One thing. This is an A. Oh, yeah. Fucking what was this tea? Wasn't it like raspberry cheesecake or something? I don't want to do it. It's a crazy dude. Mystery blend is fucking crazy. Not even gonna lie. 
dude, mystery brand blend is so fucking crazy. I'm not drinking that shit. Like, dude, I'm like, we're about to get like drugged. What the fuck is mystery blend to be this awkward? I mean, to be fair, like it, she, I guess, was playing her own thing on top of what Maka did. So all Maka's doing, which I mean, again, you know, but and again, this is like, it again, you know, but because this didn't have, I I really need to rewatch my original Exit Music playthrough. Because again, you know, what Sayori's saying here is it's like, oh, you know, uh, like, like this is like, I mean, it's not like, you know, Maka evil, Maka bad, right? But it's like, oh, she's doing this out of like spite, you know, rather than it being just misguided, which is like, she's doing this like spite me, you know, and that, uh, you know, she wants to like embarrass me and that we we're like, I mean, we were friends, but that doesn't matter. Like, again, Let's see. So we're in the cup, dude. I'm still mystery blend is still fucking crazy. Like, not even a lie. You know, dude. The fucking mystery blend, dude. This is uh and me. I just want a normal club meeting. I just want to read books in peace and quiet. Exchange poems. Hey, then also because what dude, they fucking didn't she bring up the poems and like everyone's like, oh yeah, you know, we don't got them. Or I think everyone but Sayori had them. Let's see. The R's are noticing. Ski in particular, but also like to be fair, Natsuki literally did nothing but blow up Imaka, right? You know, just looks confused. He's like, huh? Where are he's like, where am I right now? I've got dementia. And try put dude, I mystery button is still so fucking crazy. You know? Dude, it's like, what the fuck is this? You know, it's like what honey tea? She, it's not honey, dude. I swear, wasn't it like blueberry like cheesecake or something? Let's see, it would have been a nice gift. Wasn't staged like a public toast. Yeah, dude, you can buy tea in bulk and, like, give it. I know that's what my mom used to do. Uh, literally, there'd be a shelf in the pantry solely for tea. Uh, are the knots, well, you know, fucking, can see how it went to my way knots. It's like, bro, dude, uh, this is really, he's like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Throw, what do you mean throw it in on what? Like, yeah, she's like, I'm not going to lie, it tastes like dog shit. You know, Thankfully, she didn't see not quickly pour apart. Oh, I fucking remember seeing this, right? You know, I don't even think he knows. He's like, I yeah, I'm going to be honest. Like, it's a mystery blend, dude. That mystery blend is so fucking crazy. Like, he's like, oh, I have no fucking clue. You know, why don't you all get some flavor and I'll let you know. What the fuck is it, dude? Fucking Jeopardy? Bless you. Is this fucking, uh, oh, jeez, she sneezed? What the fuck? Is this, what is this fucking theme? Like, hold on, bro. Is this, don't tell me this is the last theme we need. Uh, I know I've had something similar house not even a week ago. Well, we never saw that interaction. I, I honestly, dude, this interaction would have been better than what we're seeing now. Uh, when I did this, bro, dude, freaking, the meds are really kicking in. Uh, dude, can she actually not see right now? Is she, like, blacked out? Like, uh, Puppy eyes are going to win me over. See, I know I can't figure this out. Just like fucking some bullshit, right? Can we get a little hint? Is blends organic? Dude, I'm not going to lie. I would see this and be like, all right, is that not the flavor? Like, is it the greedy ingredients, not the flavor? Like, it's like, uh, dude, I'm like, huh? what is that? Like, yeah, dude, I'm like, I'm hearing that. I'm like, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what you said. Just as confused. It, except... It, because she, well, either she is fucking the taste buds of like, you know, the most like sensitive taste buds in existence, you know, she actually, because she didn't know beforehand, right? You know, see, think, what have you tasted this before? It's like fucking, like, I swear, like using 100% of your brain to figure out a tea flavor. I could not, dude, I could not fucking see that. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I... It's what? Wasn't it blueberry? I swear it was blueberry cheesecake. What? We don't know what it is. Like, it, well, we know what it is, but like, I, dude, there's no way you'd be able to taste that. Like, blueberry cheese. Again, literally, right? So, dude, how do you, okay, Sayori must have like, okay, she must have like great vision. Cause, well, I mean, obviously, this is sprites on the screen different from assuming this is a real life, you know, uh, interaction, but like you were like, I still won't be able to tell, you know. Yours, the only one to speak up. 
take you must have a guess. It's like, oh, well, if nobody has any guesses, you know, maybe. Is it blueberry? I have no fucking. Well, no, it's a mystery bun. It's like, oh, blueberry cheesecake, but there's another ingredient. Uh, it's chlor. It's chloroform. How coy? No, that's correct. It's like blueberry cheesecake, uh, mixed with uh chloroform and a uh, freaking uh, mixed with a <laughs> Nyquil. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, good job. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well done. He's like, I'm gonna be honest. I fucking I don't know. Not the same level of enthusiasm. Need to get out of here. See, so, yeah, I couldn't even figure out something for myself. Six charters. Yeah, dude. And this is like, so. Again, in what I don't understand, it, it seems like, because this is the point in the mod to where it kind of went to shit, right? Where it seems like nothing else prior to this. In, what, so is like, so you're friends with Monica or what? Like, because, you know, you talk about being someone in the face with a chair. Like, that's not a normal thing. And the mod seemingly kind of implied that they had, like, known each other or were, like, you know, even if you assume normal mod canon, they're close enough to be president and vice president, right? You know, if you assume normal game canon. But the mod kind of seemingly implied, you know, that they had some history. So it's like, okay, are they friends or what? Like, because, you know, if this were a genuine tension point, then, like, it would be a more gradual thing and we would get more of it later on and after, right? After the fact. But instead, it's just like Sayori immediately hates and spites Monica and wants to like throw a chair at her face. It's like, all right, so did like none of their past matter or what? It's again, it's also something where it raised the question of the mom makers' perspectives, right? Or raise the mom makers' perspectives in the question. Because it's like, do they genuinely believe like Sayori to be in the right? Again, the issue is more with Natsuki because Sayori is a victim here, right? But it's like, all right, do they genuinely like you what Anka's doing like obviously what she's doing is wrong but like this is she like bad or like evil you know like uh again and, and i i talk about again the the sort of the issue regarding developing a superiority complex from your own you know sort of troubled uh what, what was the term i used from your own kind of troubling past and your own hardships like just because people can't, you know, relate to you, right? And they try their best without, you know, you... Because if Sayori would have said explicitly, treat me normal, don't do anything crazy. Different story. But she never said that. This was just off of Monica's own instinct, which is obviously wrong, but can you really blame her? Kind of thaws that. Hurting my own friends. And again, so that's why, like, this... And again, so I'm, this is... This, again, you know, this is what I was going to say, Right? It's the medication, the energy, and the circumstances. I was going to say, like, are they really just going to roll with Sayori, like, actually wanting to, like, you know, body Monica here? But it's not her fault. Because, again, you know, obviously, say, really the only person who kind of – and it, it is funny, though, right? Because the only person who kind of had any sort of sympathy towards Monica, right, was the MC. Because Natsuki just doesn't care – uh, Yuri kind of more again she was uh, dealing with Sayori right or interacting with her the MC was kind of the only one who recognized alright Maka kind of did get shafted with everything you know I guess Yuri there was probably some interaction she had with Maka at the festival since they were the only two there and feel better not herself squeezing the chocolate dude she, she's like dude she's about to burst Oh, don't worry I can get those for you Ooh, hold on someone fucking text alright never mind Oh, I'm sorry. It's I'm on a funny enough, you know. It's on a separate um video, and where someone's like fucking uh thoughts of mental health that would have you like this, and it's a picture of swords pointed at a dude. And I said, just because you're going through shit doesn't mean you get to be an asshole to others. Which again, very relevant to this mod. But oh well. Uh, all right. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. You know. Before you mock up. Freaking, geez, fucking sprinting. Geez, dude, like, I swear, people in this are like, everyone's a track star. Where the fuck did, you know, okay, so this, this explains why, I guess, Yuri was the one who went to go help us say, all right, because we know Natsuki doesn't do shit, right? The MC didn't, he didn't, like, Natsuki blew up a mock. The MC literally sat on his, you know, let's see, get me out of here. Dude, it's like a fucking, like, sign language or, like, Morse code. I'm about to lose it. I hate putting her in the spot like this. I can't take this. 
Like, just also, to be fair, just, like, get up and leave, especially since she did, like, you know. Dude, bro, wait, well, hold on. Reach, reach for the bag, bro. I was like, hold on, where is this going, right? Dude, see, you already got the strap. Like, uh, we were thinking maybe a big guy. And again, because the MC says this, but he doesn't fucking realize that not everyone did that. Like, Sayori, again, ironically enough, she was singled out, right? But it's like, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, good idea. But literally, she doesn't like, uh, okay, right? Like, dude, or it's like, okay, you four, right? A different catchphrase. Uh, if you'd like to get hers ready, we can pass it months. I don't have one. Yeah, that's why, like, dude, like, to be like, like, I don't know why the MC brought that up because it's like, he doesn't, he didn't even know Natsuki did hers. Like, it wasn't agreed upon that they do that shit. Like, he just did it because I think he wrote it for Natsuki. And, like, he's like, oh, yeah, let's do it, right? Dude, I'm not going to let it be an issue. If you got a poem, I mean, I told – dude, that's why I'm like, dude, honestly, horrible suggestion by the MC. Like, uh, we can't let that slide. Yuri had a pretty good distraction. But MC, I was like – because I even remember play through, I'm like, dude, like, nobody agreed upon this. Nobody's going to have poems. Low priority. Three days in the hospital, dream ways game back here. Freaking, like, waiting, you know, like – like, it's not like an escape room. You're not in jail. You know, it's just do your time and get out. Like, you haven't been low priority. I didn't really think to write Paul. I mean, yeah, dude, like, it's been like a – all of this, and again, we need – like, you need to take consideration. All this shit happens in, like, a week. Like, oh, I clicked off the screen. It'd be a suicide note. Damn, freaking uh, – okay, Noski wrote a suicide note. Uh, let's see, I didn't mean to assume. If you want to pack them, hey, pack it up, pack it up, you wrap it up. You know, we're so close to normalcy. You know, it's all right. I'd still be happy to read the others. Wouldn't want to be the reason for why everyone else. What's weird, though, is I'm pretty sure the two poems MC and Noski wrote were meant for each other. Yuri probably just has like a book of them. Monica, same deal. But like, I'm pretty sure the two poems, because we never actually see them. The two poems that the MC, or MC and Noski have are the ones that are meant for each other. So it's like they're still sharing that shit around. You know, let's see. I really think you should let her make the decision. Yuri's been quietly sitting. I feel the frustration. Should be up to her. Noski is that enough. You know, also, I'm, I'm surprised that you didn't notice the stitch. Because that'd be, I'd be like, damn, freaking, you know, rough uh, time at the cleaners. Like, Jesus. But I don't like, and again, because obviously we know what happens between Noski and Maka, right? And again, it, it all comes down to really the only person, like, in this scenario who's kind of, like, understanding and actually, like, can help out, or I don't want to say help out, but who can actually, like, mediate and, like, again, you know, what what's the term? Again, but I guess, like, help out is a year, right? You know, predictably, he doesn't say anything. Bro, hey, why you got fucking, dude, like, again, uh, let's see. You can feel it coming there before an argument. Belton for it. Okay, but also, like, these are, like, stupid-ass, like, arguments. Like, these two arguing is, like, just brain-dead, like, disassociation. It's not happening again. I'm not going to be the cause of the fight. Sometimes. Okay, to be fair, though, uh, you also... Some things are inevitable and unavoidable, right? When you have this many conflicting personalities and, like, sort of characters, like, Natsuki and Yuri are bound to clash over anything. Honestly, Natsuki and anyone are bound to clash over anything. You know, you have to walk away. It's probably best if we leave the poems for Mara, you know? And honestly, Sayori, like, like, she literally could have walked, like, I, you know, like, she's like, Yuri, get me out of here. And it's like, I mean, like, you, she does know the best move is to walk away, right? You know, it's just trying to find that time. But, like, if you know you can't find that time, you just got to rip off that Band-Aid and, like, just all the old, you know, push the seat back, get up, right, turn around and walk to the door. Right. You know, I feel like people will like understand. Right. Or at least, you know, they'll see what's kind of going on. You know, the club's about to become a battleground. Well, it's already too late. That's been set in motion for like the past five minutes. Like I'm leaving. I don't care if you go or stay, but I'm gone. Dude, bitch, fucking everyone else have like abysmal hearing or tinnitus. There's no way nobody else heard this. You know, you don't have to. I don't go on stay here either. Because she fucking, you know, she dips. Right. And then Yuri follows her. Monica, but obviously they don't all reconnect in the fucking hallway, right? You know, the MC, he stays, you know, before leaving. 
not in front of her. Yeah, bro, that's why I'm like, you know, freaking, it's like, oh, like, Monica bad, Monica evil. But it's like, in like, for whatever reason, so you always like, absolutely like, spiting her and like, hating her, like, despite the past. Again, it, it's just weird. You know, because this is like, I don't want to say, okay, Fallen Angel is on some like, crazy type shit. But it's like, and especially because, again, you know, Monica's going through her own shit, right? Like, the MC even recognized Monica just needs a win. And then she's fine, right? Which never happens. You know, she never gets a dub in this mod. Uh, and him, bro. And that's why it's, like, fucking, like, she's, a, like, it must be the best. Because, like, dude, she legit, like, hates Monica and the MC. And it's, like, dude, like, like especially that, like, does I guess, you know, your past, like, with them doesn't matter. It, it's It's weird where it's, like, all of a sudden now anyone's walking on eggshells when they're, like, around you. Right. It, it, this is like more so something you'd expect out of Natsuki, where it's like people treat you wrong and they're, uh, they're on the public enemy number one on your hit list. Keep walking. Yuri doesn't stop. We exit. So, this is what I'm actually curious about. This is what I'm curious about. What happens after? Because the MC, we don't get that POV. Like, he just stays in the classroom. Wait, please. Can we just sit down and talk about this? No, I'm not doing so hot. I just need to go. Let's see, all I wanted to do was, I know, I need to go. Because even, like, for what she was saying, like, Sayori knows, and if, uh, dude, they got rid of the freaking bags. But really, Monica just needed to dub this mod that never happened. Which, like, I mean, we know, it's, it's st I still find it crazy. Natsuki literally destroyed the lives of everyone, this mod. It's actually kind of crazy. Like, we know the dub, like, Monica's life went to shit. Uh, Sayori's life went to shit. MC literally died. Um, Yuri is kind of the one who semi got out unscathed. Monica, what the hell is yeah and then this is like immediately just blows the fuck up like so i'm curious because i thought these were two separate conversations going on i didn't think and i know i'm kind of going over time i'll go to an hour because i'm just this is like the one interaction i kind of wanted to see because i thought it was two separate conversations like so you and yuri dipped monica and natsuki were like doing their own thing but i guess they're all meeting up in the hallway you know yeah, bro, I'm definitely not saying. She's like, I don't want to be here for this. So, by treating her like a kid, bro, like, fucking, yeah. Dude, like, it, you know, because it is funny, right? Nazi literally argues over being called cute. But, you know, whatever, right? You know, maybe she appreciates treating her like a, oh, yeah, and it's getting smaller because they're going away, like, Bro, dude, holy shit. Okay, not gonna lie. This is, and this is why it's like, dude, I actually hate people like Natsuki so goddamn much. Like, dude, this is that's a crazy comment, bro. That's actually, because it's not even the fact that Monk is crying. This is just a crazy comment in and of itself, bro. Like, dude, like, Natsuki's voice, yeah, it's like, we're a good distance away. It's like, gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. Oh, but the mute side, hey, it's like, finally, peace and quiet. Like, Jesus, you know? Think I can talk to Natsuki. Yeah, and that's like, bro, like, like, yeah, not, well, dude, don't even try to, like, Natsuki's freaking, like, I swear, has, like, anger management. The embassy, like, I don't understand why Sayori's, like, I guess because her perspective is he was the one behind it, maybe? Like, he told Monica, oh, this, but when in reality, they literally just ran, again, it, it, this is so weird. Like, this was such a weird, like, interaction, and, like, because I see what they tried to do with it. Like, this was, again, and this is why I said, like, I pretty much enjoyed the mod up until this point. After this point is kind of where it went downhill. Because this interaction was kind of supposed to be the main, like, tension point. Where, like, this is what kind of kicks off everything. But it's just, it's such a weird interaction from all angles. Like, A, because I don't think Monica would actually be like this over the top. Especially once she realized it was going awry. You know, B... Okay, I can see Natsuki blowing the fuck up. Uh, that I can see. So Natsuki, I can see that problem. The MC, though, like, I, I think, you know, he would potentially reach out to Sayori just because, like, he would kind of realize, all right, if this is a bad idea, better that she knows of it. Because, again, he knows Makani's the dub, but at least Sayori can be mentally prepared. Yuri, I think, was pretty accurate. Um, Like, as well. But also something where, you know, Again, you know, she would probably be another person to tell Monica that, oh, this isn't a great idea, right? You know, probably, like, again, since she got the tea set. So, clearly, she was roped in in it. But, again, she could have been the one to tell Monica that rather than, like, the MC where, like, 
he could have just gone with it and then, you know, reached out to say we're separate. She stops walking. Yeah, you know. Can we go somewhere else? Like, we have no shit. Where else are you going to go? Like, fucking, uh, back to, dude, the playground. Oh, my God, bro. It, it all comes back. It all comes back to the playground. Ah, uh, are we kind there? Are we just straight up kind there? Or is it going to, is this going to be the end of this uh, bonus? Or right, we're back here. All right. I'm going to save and end it here again. I, I genuinely think, you know, that was, I, I, it's, it's such an odd interaction. Like, again, it, I don't want to say it feels a uh, dude. I, I swear if that was the last fucking, okay, no, it wasn't. When did that play before? I don't know. But I, I really do feel also, hold on. So gallery. Oh, well, we already have all of them, right? And hey, we got T-Set. But I was going to say, I, I that was such an odd interaction. Like, even playing through the mod, I felt like, all right, this is such a weird, like, you know, conversation going on right now. Like, like why is this, again, you know, and to be used as kind of a main tension point is, like, very weird. I, I don't remember what happened in the original. Um, again, because... I will say, though, having these, like, moments in these mods are, like, perfectly moment, right? It, it's done, like, I mean, that's literally just called having a problem, right? You know, and an issue for the characters to overcome. But when it feels, like, super contrived and weird like that, right? You know, it's like, all right, I mean, cool and all, but, like, like, what? Like, again, why is this happening? Like, you know, and, and again, especially when they give them such important plot, like, importance, right? Because this conversation is basically what makes everything go downhill. So it's like it ha it holds importance in that sense to where it's like, all right, this is the beginning of the end. Uh, and especially because it never makes a recovery, right? We know the end of this spot, Romeo and Julia. But again, and it's something to where you really can't blame Monica, right? You know, and I guess that's the tendency and what this is kind of trying to go about and show, right? But again, you know, you kind of need to realize that. Uh, like, granted, if Sayori said, treat me normally right you know at the time of again her telling everyone right like literally if sayori was like all right everyone i have something to confess uh the reason why i wasn't at the festival was because i attempted to commit suicide uh since then i've been in hospital now i'm back um i'm on medication i'm doing better but i don't want you to like treat me differently as a result i want you to treat me she she, she said something like that and then Monica went and did this. All right. You know, that's a different story. Because that's directly going against what she was doing, right? But in this instance, she's just doing what she feels best. But she can't empathize or understand her because she hasn't gone through it. Which you can't blame her for. Because, again, you know, I talk about the weird superiority complex regarding having gone through trouble and hardship. You know, and, again, somehow that makes you better than people who haven't gone through it. But you can't blame the get hurt for reacting that way. And again, I still think it was a good idea, good plan, just horrible execution. But it is something to where it's like, I mean, again, which all, all at the end of the day, all in all, just again, it's about the question. It raised that question, right? What's the perspective of the mod makers? Do they genuinely view Natsuki and Sayori to be in the right? Because if so, that's kind of, I'd say, like problematic in terms of it, it, it sort of toes that line of, all right, if I'm going through shit, I can be an asshole. Which isn't the case again, you know. But we'll see. I am because again, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. That whole interaction, like I, I still don't. That I would have been so much more interested to see that through the POV of Monica. Granted, now we're probably we're gonna get an interesting interaction between Sayori and Yuri, which I am kind of looking forward to. But I really wish we got the POV of uh, Monica. Like that would have been a much more interesting thing. But again, I guess we'll see. We'll see what Monica's. I'm I'm curious. I I want to see Monica's POV in the next one. But again, we'll see. But with that, I don't really have much else to say here. So yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.